Hey, what's up, guys? You know what? Today, I'm going to do a little tribute video uh, to a, a guy that I watched when I was growing up in the 70s. His name was, gather bug, Professor Julius Sumner Miller. <clears throat> and he was on PBS and uh, had these little 15-minute shows. Now, Professor Miller was a physics professor at UCLA, also at the University of Sydney in Australia. He wrote numerous books, uh, including one called Why Is It So?, which was one of my treasured childhood books. And one of the things he always said was, it is not how much you know, but what you understand. And that goes along with another one of my intellectual idols, Richard Feynman, who said, you do not truly understand something until you can build it from scratch on your own. Now, Professor Miller opened up all his shows like this. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and teachers? I am Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. Today's very special business is, and then he would go into it, on a big piece of paper he had behind him and he'd have the name on it. And then when he started into his little experiments, he always said, consider the following. So as a tribute to Professor Miller, we are going to consider the following. A cube with a resistor on each edge. So first of all, try and make this. This will test your soldering skills because when you try and solder a junction of three separate things, when you've already soldered two of them together, things can get a little springy. Now, the values of the resistors really don't matter for our thought experiment here today. So, what we want to do is find the total ohmic resistance between two points that are diagonally opposed. A and B. So we could say this point here is A down on the bottom, front left, and this point up here is B on the top back right. There are three ways to do this. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is 5, 6, R. So consider all of the resistors are of the same value R. The answer is 5, 6, R. So if these are 1 ohm resistors, then the answer is 5, 6 of an ohm. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, he used to do experiments like this all the time. And in fact, I ordered a galvanometer so that we can play around with some basic conduction and induction experiments. It'll be fun, I think. Anyway, um, Professor Miller died in 1987. On his way back from um, the University of Sydney, he was a huge fan of Einstein and I think it was in the late 50s, he actually got a grant to go and visit Einstein, and he became a great collector of Einstein memorabilia. I used to love watching this guy. I mean, he had the crazy... Prof I mean, you, you can see there's a picture of him right up there. Had the crazy uh, mad professor hair, and uh, he had that big lavalier microphone about the size of a pill bottle always hanging off his shirt. Yeah, yeah, he was great. He was great. He he was the Bill Nye of the 70s. Yeah. Anyway, I know this is a short video today, but I implore you to consider the following. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you think you know how to solve this problem put it into the comments down below all right that's it i'm out peace <laughs>